Satan needs four. Okay. And, and needs four, as I often said, is my intellectual father. No, not only in respect to physical insight and, and quantum mechanics, but in a way uh, his approach to, to the problems, to not only physics but philosophy, and then his idea of complementarity, which in political aspect is very important, I mean, that there are always many ways of looking at a problem that are apparently in contradiction, like art and science. Well, the physics example, of course, is waves and particles. Uh, the, the electron is both. both. And uh, although it's seemingly contradictory, and Bohr coined the word complementary for that, and uh, also art and science, religion and science, uh, and many other avenues of human experience that are necessary to get the full impact of life and of thought. And that this uh, certainly was a great influence on me philosophically. And the uh, character, I always like to see different sides of subject. That is the main sport. Uh, and apart from this, of course, uh, it was so helpful in 1936 when I had to leave the church because it was three years in public and we couldn't stay longer as a foreigner. And uh, Nazism was prevalent and he, he uh, assembled. For, he found money for all these refugee, Jewish refugee scientists, and then went every year to England and America to find jobs for them. And he found a job for me at Rochester in the uh, state of New York, and uh, he helped so many people. And at the same time, you know, he did uh, was very intensively interested in physics, especially at that time nuclear physics, the compound nucleus, and all that. And uh, so uh, I have an unending admiration for this man. I think he's unique. Of course, one always compares him with Einstein, but Einstein is a completely different personality. <coughs> Einstein is concentrated on physics, and, uh, in, in, uh, whereas more uh, the human qualities of Bohr are, uh, to my mind, more outstanding than the case of Einstein. Although Einstein is certainly uh, as a physicist, the greatest physicist there was. And I had not, I had, of course, I knew Einstein very well, but personally, but I had not too much contact. It is hard to get contact with Einstein. I, he was not communicative with people? No, or? no, he has practically no students, and, and uh, I played music with him. Perfect. And uh, his violin. So he was favorite was Bach in a sense. Yeah, Bach. Bach and Mozart. Mozart. And your favorite is? The same. Uh, I do not want to concentrate on the whole classical music spectrum. But uh, he is not a great violinist. I mean, he's a better physicist than the But was Bohr in, in any sense musician? Uh, passively. I remember that I played in Bohr, Bohr's house, chamber music with, for example, with Kopfermann, with a German physicist, uh, Hans Kopfermann. And uh, he liked to have music in his house, but he did not himself. And uh, this is taped on June 17, during the visit of Professor Weisskopf to the Institute for Advanced Physics Studies in La Jolla, California.